evening to you. Now, well, the world of cartoons and uh, something suitably Danish because we have a lovable Viking. Mm. Tagar the Horrible, Sun Readers and Gnome. He's under Striker and he's under George and Lynn. Well, that's normally Lovely. George who's under. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> and, uh, well, I see, I... Paul's more fruity in this, no, mate. No, occasionally. Occasionally, uh, Pete, like Nash, it. Pete Nash, who creates Striker, gets clog about sort of pushing the envelope a bit with Striker. Mm. But the stuff that George and Lynn get away with is quite staggering. I've but always liked Lynn. She's never aged over the years. No, she hasn't. She's but worn well right about the old Botox. You write about <laughs> Striker. Blimey, get off that Pete. roof. Move on, mate. Move on. I think they're going to get off the roof now. I think he was listening. He's, he's cut another three weeks of this out. You know, <laughs> during the World Cup, he's gone on holiday. Just so just leave him on the roof for a week. No, because it says in the last panel, it says they might, we might have to escape across the roof. Oh, oh get off the get, roof. Get off the roof. Anyway, let's return to, that's right, let's return to, uh, <laughs> what? Hagar the Horrible. That was uh, Mark Nicholas there, with reference to uh, England versus South Africa from three years ago, for no reason whatsoever. And uh, the, the man that, uh, what's it, that kind of took over from his dad, who originally created it, uh, Chris Brown, joins us now. Hi, Chris. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, we're good, thanks. Is, 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 now, is this Paul or Andy? This is this is Paul currently, but Andy will kind of chip in at some point. You may hear another voice, but uh, he doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, is, is that Disco John? Is Disco John there? No, it's, it's Disco sadly, Jonathan Beals. Disco yeah. Jonathan Beals. He's, this, he's Disco John's son, although they don't realise it yet. <laughs> really? We're going to bring them Imagine together that. one day. We'll, they'll, See, we'll put the dates together. Goodness gracious. Is this a clone? That's no, he's not a clone. <laughs> That's right. Well, Jonathan... I can't is, see. Jonathan, yeah, I can see. The Jonathan you're listening to now is involved in, in the, the world of technology. He's mm. capable of creating a clone. Oh, mm. good. Oh, yeah, he has, he has the technology. Oh, yes. But, uh, which is a million miles away from a nice kind of hand drawings and the stuff you do. So, yeah. it was your dad that, uh, that started it off, Hagan, and you've, you've taken it on. Is that right? Yes. Uh, in 1972, uh, my, my dad uh, got in a car accident, mm. and he broke his leg, and he thought... You know, if I'd killed myself, my family would have nothing. Yeah. Mm. So he decided he was going to come up with uh, a, a comic strip that was all his own. And uh, he made it a slightly autobiographical comic strip because he's a he was a big man with a big red beard. Mm. And uh, now I'm a big man with a big red beard, so I, I got the Viking gene, you know. <laughs> what, what, did he have any Danish blood in him? Well, he had Danish pastries in him. <laughs> I, don't think he had, uh, I don't think he had any Danish blood in him. He had some Danish blood on him. All oh, right, <laughs> I see. But uh, uh, he actually was, uh, you know, if you'll pardon me saying it, uh, uh, Irish-American. Okay. You know? In fact, the E on the end of uh, Brown was a, a sort of a, an honorary thing that they gave us at the War of the Roses. So, uh, on the face of it, a lovable Viking... He's uh, a lovable Viking. Yeah, but there's, there, there were very few of them were there originally, when they were terrorizing well, you know, Britain. I mean, they, they, some of them had to be lovable, or, or, or we wouldn't have Vikings today. No, I suppose, yeah, they, but, yeah, but they're kind of, there's lovable and lovable, isn't there? There's loving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, that's right. But, uh, you, he's, uh, you know, Vikings did uh, love soccer. Of course, everybody, when, when they think of Vikings, they think of soccer immediately. Do they? Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe but not. Vikings had, <laughs> was a tri Vikings good, good had try at a link, no, though. Vikings had no rule soccer, which meant that, you know, if you if you, if you you lost the football, you'd just take the other guy's head off. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, that's how they played it. They used to <laughs> yeah. play it with yeah. a Britain's head. I think Stig yes. Tofting still yes. goes in for that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Stig, that's yeah. what they still practice with at home. That's, so, that's right. In fact, I, I think that's where Australian soccer comes from, is from Viking soccer. Hmm. Now remember, Hagar, if people don't read The Sun, or they may have said it's kind of syndicated in a lot of places all around the world, but uh, the, the Skull adverts as well that uh, yes. Hagar did as well for a long time. Yes, I love, I love Skull, I bless Skull for existing, <laughs> and I love The Sun. The Sun is my favorite newspaper in the world because The Sun treats Hagar with respect. Hmm. They put Hagar all by himself. Uh, on on the back of the on the back of the uh, the the paper and in color and with no other comic strips around. Well, which I've got is some, the way it should be. I've got some bad news for you. <laughs> they may have moved him because he's now on page to 40. The cover? He's, he was to the cover. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's, sa page he's, three. he's sandwiched between Mystic Meg and George and Lynn, which is a comic strip in itself, really. But uh, okay, yeah. well. I, I suppose that's okay. It's but he's still in color. Shot. He's still in color. <laughs> he's still very much in color. Oh, I love that. So, are you, are you a soccer fan, Chris? Are you aware that uh, the U.S. team are doing well? 
Well, you, you know, I, I I think if we could only get Tiger Woods on the team, we'd be all set. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I hear that we're going to play Mexico. That's right. I can't wait because I, I can't wait to see the U.S. team kicking into their goal because they've been sneaking past us for years and years over here. <laughs> well, and over the border. Time. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I, I hear it's going to be double elimination. Well, it, it sounds like something a doctor would have you do. Well, I think basically it's, it's win or bust now. It's just, they've been playing. They've done very well though, the U.S. team, and it was made the cover of yeah, Sports Illustrated. They've done very well. They got thrashed by the worst team in the tournament. They still made the second round. <laughs> well, then, then, then I'm very proud. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, Chris, it's been good to speak to you. It's great to speak to you, and. Uh, 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 can I say one last thing? Yeah, sure, sure. There is a gentleman over there who's a friend of mine that's helping run the soccer thing, mm -hmm. and he is, um, he, his name is Chuck Blazer. And oh, yeah, I've heard of him, yeah. Have yeah. you heard of him? Yeah, yes, of course. He's a wonderful guy. He's sort of like, have you ever seen Charlie's Angels? Yeah. Yep. He's, he's like Charlie's Angels. You never see him, but he does wonderful good things in the world. And I would like everybody in, in, uh, in, in the world and everybody in the sound of my voice who meets Chuck Blazer mm. during these tournaments yeah. to go up to him and say, Hager the Horrible said I should buy you a beer. Okay, be well, happy with that. We have, people, we have people all over the world listening uh, via the internet, so that, that I'm sure that message will be passed on. Chris, good to speak I, to you. I hope so. He'll never forgive me. <laughs> you take care. Thank you, and give my love to Disco John. I will, I will do, do Thanks, when he's Chris. coming over. He's so pleased with that old Disco John. If he's converted to Hagar the Horrible. Yeah. No, never has a man been more appropriately named as a FIFA official than Chuck Blazer. It's a great <laughs> name <laughs> for a FIFA right. official. What if that's what he does when he gets angry? Yeah. When he finally re retires, that's what he'll do when he'll be in a fit of peak. He'll do, yeah. The man that did. That's right. Indeed. <laughs>